So the first style is a very vintage sort of red carpet look and it is the finger wave style. So you'd start off by parting your hair how you want it and then creating little small curls throughout your hair all going in the same direction. Add a little hairspray and brush out to encourage the sort of S shape of the wave. We must never stop you can also use your fingers to just encourage the little S shape even more, add some more hairspray and then pop in your clips following the sort of curves of the S so that you have some really pronounced little waves. Then you want to pop a little bit more hairspray, we are also using Kerastase hairspray and then you're just going to take your hairdryer and just go over that again for a little bit more hold. Once you have done the shorter side, you can work your way over to the other side. Starting from the underneath, you're going to again curl little sections of hair to create little ringlets all facing the same direction. Just go through and check that all your curls are actually facing in the correct direction, all going the same way. And then you can take a brush and focus on the top half of your hair and just brush through. As you can see, this creates a really nice sleek upper half with the waves towards the bottom of the hair, creating the really cute vintage style finger waves. As we did with the other side, we're just going to pop in some clips, spray it and encourage the S shape even further just so we have that really pronounced finger wave. Once you've also done this on the front, you can begin to take the clips out and see the finished result. Style number two is sort of an extension on the last one and we're just going to brush through those curls, loosen them up and pull them forwards. This shows you how versatile short hair really can be. We can really make any kind of style out of a curly little short haired look. If you want, you can lift up the hair and add some volumizing spray to the underneath layers. Then you can fluff up your hair and create a more volumized curly look. Channel those 80s vibes and spray in some more volumizing spray, really work those curls for some serious volume. This is a perfect party look. Then we have just added some L'Oreal wet look gel um, and just added that into the waves to create this kind of cool curly wet look. People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. For this next look we're going to start by wetting our hair then taking the L'Oreal Technique Art Structurizing Fibre Gel parting our hair on either side and adding some gel to the roots If you are interested in any of the products and you can't remember what I'm saying don't worry I will link them in the description box below as you're adding the gel to your hair, you want to keep brushing through to keep it nice and straight. Then take a blow dryer and just keep pushing that hair down to keep it nice and flat to your head. Switch on over to the other side and slick down that side too. Next, we're taking the Kerastase mousse and adding it to the center part of our hair that hasn't been slicked down. This is going to be the quiff. Begin blow drying the top part of your hair to create some volume. 
Make sure the sides are nicely slicked down, then you might want to add some clay to your hands and just work it through the centre bit of your hair, volumising that quiff. Add some hairspray and you're done. Making the quiff even more versatile, you can just brush forward the centre part of your hair to create a very volumised fringe and leaving the sides very nice and slick. Savannah. Next we moved on to this wet look hairstyle and Laura showed me some really incredible ways of doing this. First you want to lightly wet your hair and brush down, part it in the desired way and starting from the underneath begin slicking down the hair with gel and a comb. We are again using the L'Oreal Techniart Structurizing Fiber Gel to slick my hair down. So this is the really cool bit. Laura showed me that you can grab yourself a little hair nut like this, place it taut over the hair you've just been working on and blow dry it down to give it that really nice, flat, sleek look. Once you take that away, you'll see you've made a really nice, sleek underneath section of your hair, so you can start bringing down more sections of the above hair and doing the exact same thing. So applying your gel, combing it through, and then applying your hair net and blow drying. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah. So I quickly just want to say thank you to Laura from Laura Lee who did my hair on this day. I will leave a link to their salon in the description box below. 